Hi there everybody, my name is Ali Sherrick and I'm a time tunneler. And of course, all time tunnelers are also time travellers. And I have my own time machine here, look. Here we go. This is what I use to go back in the past to get ideas for my stories. And as you can see, the magic date has not been set yet for the next adventure. Exciting. So, um, last time I travelled back in time, though, I went back to the time of 1520 to write my book, The Queen's Fool. And this story is about a young girl called Cat Sparrow. You can see her on the front cover there. Um, and she lives in a nunnery at the start of the story. And her sister is stolen away to London. And Cat loves her sister very much. And she travels to London um, and ends up at the court of King Henry VIII and his queen, Catherine. You can see them here at the bottom on the front cover. Um, but of course, when you're writing stories set in the past, you have to think about how some things might be the same. For example, the heroes are going to be very heroic and brave and courageous. And of course, the villains are still going to be very villainous. Um, but there are plenty of other things that are not the same. Um, and you have to be sure of those before you start writing your story. For example, if Cat walked into one of the palace rooms um, at the king's court, she couldn't just flick on a switch um, to, to get the room to light up. No, um, she would have to look for candles. Now, at a, t at a court, um, they had very expensive candles, beeswax candles, which smelt beautiful. But if you weren't as rich as the king and queen, if you perhaps lived more humbly in a cottage or something, um, then you would have to light your room with tallow candles. Um, and tallow is made from animal fat. So, of course, those candles were very smoky and also very pongy as well. So not very nice, really. Um, now, something else, if you wanted to get a message urgently, from um, A to B and um, in this story there's lots of plots and plotting going on and um, an urgent need to get things um, from one person to another. Um, you can't just pick up your mobile phone because of course they didn't have mobile phones in those days. You would have to write a letter and that's if you could write because not everybody could, a lot of people couldn't. But if you had been taught how to write then you would have some parchment perhaps and here I have some parchment of my own and you would have a, a quill pen and you would dip that in the ink and you would write your message and then hopefully there would be a horseman ready to take your message to the person that you, that you needed it to get to. And of course the other thing was, if you needed to spend a penny back in the times of the Tudors, well there were no such things as flushing lavatories, no. You would have to use a chamber pot in all probability and that was just really a bowl or a basin, often kept under the bed, um, and you would use it. And then to get rid of it, because there was no flush, remember, you would open the window and you would chuck it out. And whoever was walking underneath at the time, well, that would be very unfortunate for them. So anyway, I have a little um, challenge for you, a little writing challenge. Um, what I'd like you to do is to hop on board your own time machine and go back to a time that you'd really like to visit. And when you're there, look around and see what's the same as it is today, but then look at what might be different. Now you might have to do some research for this, which is fine, because that's what I have to do when I'm writing my stories. Um, but uh, have a look around, as I say, notice what's the same, what's different, and then come back. And then what I'd like you to do is to perhaps step into the shoes of a character that you might have met on those travels um, and write a diary entry describing the place that you visited and talking about some of the things that are different, uh, some of the things that I've mentioned, okay? And really think of smells and sounds and taste and touch as well when you're doing that. So I hope you enjoy yourselves and happy time traveling. Bye.